Stimulation Center was started five years ago in collaboration with Bryan Medical Center, Bryan College of Health Sciences, and Southeast Community College. It was made for a place for students um, and also staff to work with simulators that we have um, so they could get proper training and education. We have six adult simulators, we have two pediatric simulators, and we have one baby simulator. All of them, you can check their pupils, you can check blood pressure, heart tones, lung sounds, bowel sounds, um, they blink. We have um, faculty and staff play roles of the voices, and also controls the mannequin, can manipulate their vital signs, and that's where all, kind of all the magic takes place. Yeah, I do feel pretty fair. I'm ready for a little breakfast. The training they get here is something that they cannot get on the floor because they can do things here that will not hurt a real patient. They can do chest compressions that they might not have a chance to actually do on a live patient. We hope they don't have to do it on a live patient. They can do it here, they can practice it here, um, get more comfortable. It's a very non-threatening environment. You know, we control what happens. We, we, we control how the mannequins respond, we control how the mannequins react to what they're doing. The simulation center is very helpful. The feeling of going to the clinical floor and being able to do these, um, these skills that we've learned in the uh, simulation lab, it's just really a confidence booster um, when you're on the clinical floor and you feel like you're more of a, a nurse because you know what you're doing. If you make a mistake here, it's not a big deal because when you make mistakes, you're gonna learn from them. It really just helps us, helps us practice for the real world situations when we'll be by ourselves in the future. months ago we actually came up and we used the simulation center to practice going into patient rooms. We specifically worked on people making sure we're doing aided training um, where we're announcing ourselves and introducing ourselves and what we're there for. Um, we are practicing um, making sure we're checking to identifiers, you know, patient name and date of birth and things like that. There are going to be people you know, who aren't feeling very well who ask for things that they can't have. It's very valuable for them to be able to do it live and in person. We are very unique. This past year we have had a tremendous growth in the simulation center. We put through um, I believe roughly about a thousand nurses who came through and did the fully training. Nursing students come through the simulation center multiple times during their nursing school career. We also have had nutrition and dining services through here. Volunteer services have come through here. We have high schools come through here all the time for recruitment through Bryan College of Health Sciences. It was a great experience and they enjoyed it.